Hola, estoy presentando sobre una pieza de arte, el guitarrista viejo. Esta pieza de arte fue pintada por Pablo Picasso en 1904. En esta pintura se puede ver un hombre con una guitarra. También se puede ver los colores oscuros y monotonísimos. El hombre en la pintura está vestido en una túnica sin zapatos. No tiene mucho cabello y se puede asumir que no ha comido mucho recientemente. Está sentándose en un piso que probablemente está frío. Cuando la pintura fue pintada por Picasso, Picasso había vivido en pobreza. Qué pena que Picasso hubiera vivido en pobreza. En, rea en realidad, Picasso probablemente era tan pobre como el hombre en la pintura. El hombre simboliza la pobreza y el dolor que la acompaña. Al contrario al, al hombre, la guitarra simboliza la comodidad que las cosas sencillas pueden traer. La idea que el hombre simboliza la pobreza es apoyado por la falta de los zapatos y su túnica mala. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Ryan Yanchar and I just gave a Spanish presentation for a Spanish 2 class under Senor Magrans. And uh, it was basically, it's called ODIP. We interpreted a piece of art. I did the old guitarist or El Guitarista Viejo. And in Spanish, I went through, you know, some of the details of the painting. And it's just a nice experience to be able to present in front of people. It's nice to be able to, you know, change languages back and forth and uh, say the things that you'd like to say in English, but in a different language. It's very, it's nice to be able to change it up a little bit and feel like you're fluent in two different languages. It helps your, it helps you just comprehend the different things. What first piqued your interest in taking Spanish? It seemed like something very unique and it seemed like something that I'd never, it just seemed like something that I'd never done before, you know. The other classes all seemed pretty repetitive, but this felt like something new, so I wanted to explore that region, you know, and I felt that Spanish would be the most useful out of all the languages I was offered, so, because I would like to go to South America. It's all a choice of where you'd like to go. I'd like to go to South America, Central America, so it's nice. Well, hi, my name is Mrs. McGranz. Um, everybody calls me Senora McGranz or Senora Magrans, which is the right way to say it in Spanish. Um, Ryan has been with me uh, this year. It's his first time. When he first came in to my class, he was a little nervous because he knew that I was a native speaker. And he was like, uh-oh, this lady's going to really push me to my limits. And I said, I think you're going to do just fine. Just, you know, keep learning, keep working, you're doing fine. And he would come and ask me a few questions here and there. And then he got into the flow, and he has just, like, flourished. Can you just tell us a little bit about what Ryan's project was today? Tell us a little bit about what he talked about and then we'll end up with any you got a class from him too long. So. Well, the project is about art. So the students had to pick an art piece and they had to apply as much grammar and as much vocabulary as possible to use the ODIP method, which is the same method that the art department uses, which is observation, description, um, the I, oh, I'm forgetting what the I is, I'm sorry. Interpretation and proving their interpretation. And most of the students struggle with the uh, proof of the interpretation. They do really good with the O and the D and the I, and then when they get to the P, they're like, ah, which is not the case for Ryan and some other students that were in my uh, Spanish three classes this year. Spanish is obviously, learning another language is obviously something of importance, but what, why is it important, in your opinion, for people to be able to take another language, for people to have a skill like Ryan does in order to speak another language? First of all, when you are learning another language, you're developing a different part of your brain. Okay, there are skills that you are starting to use that you didn't normally use. You have to work more on memory than you have in the past and then it's you have to practice it you have to apply yourself you have to show that you, you're a go-getter so it, it it instills that type of person that like okay this is a go-getter this is a person that's going to try to overcome obstacles regardless of what they are because they are taking another language whether it's Spanish or French or German or Chinese or Arabic I mean they are willing to do that extra step that extra mile and I mean as far as skills there's a lot of data that um, uh, 
uh, would you know affirm the fact that taking another language is good for you.